so let's uh, make our first iteration so let's say at zero iteration the xi value is zero and if we have the true value of the root we can find out the true error as well so we, we will find it later but let's go for the next iteration for example this plus one this is the next iteration and how you can find out the next value xi plus one so this is the previous value xi and the next where this is the next value xi plus one and this is the previous value but for this case when you will come here so then it will become the xi and this value will become xi plus one so xi is actually equal to 2.718 just to the power minus xi okay so if i just enter so we get one and now we can also compute the uh, the approximate error so let me put absolute current value minus previous value divided by the current value multiplied by 100 okay so I think I have already made, made that cell as a percentage so it should not be multiplied by 100 because this cell is by default a percentage okay so if you have the true value of the root you can also find out the true error for example in this question in the end here the true value of the root is given so 0 0.56714329 so we can also compute the true error even for this case it will be absolute because i'm not interested in the sign of error i am more concerned about its magnitude whether it's increasing or decreasing so that's why i put abs absolute okay so it is uh, the true value is 0 0.56 0 0.56 uh, 714329 714329 minus uh, xi divided by 0 0.56 seven one four three two nine and then converted this value into the percentage and to uh, a more significant digits again put it here control c control v and now we are ready to replicate our results control c and let's make some trials so here we have the uh, approximate error 5.9 percent and the true error 2.2 so let's continue a bit more and we have these results so here we have the true error 0.08 percent and the approximate error 0.2 percent so let's increase it more until and unless so we have now here we can see the true error and the approximate error have been reduced <coughs> i'm sorry <coughs> so and this value of the root is pretty close 0 0.56714 uh, and we can use this value now if you if you continue further this value will be stabilized like so this is a very important point that uh, there's a fluctuation 0 0.716 uh, 717 so it will be uh, something like sometimes uh, 0 0.56717 and in the next trial 0 0.56716 so you have to understand that there is no more changes in this value so this value is stable and now you can use it for your uh, other purposes for what purpose you want to use this function so this is how you can use the simple fixed point iteration method to find out the roots of the equation and the next is the convergence technique so what is the convergence it is more or less pretty similar to the uh, simple fixed point iteration for example here we actually uh, we actually say that now uh, this function is equal to zero and we we call uh, this equation as uh, one side as xi plus one and the other side xi so let's say all these two this we say this side is actually equal to this is equal to x i we, we say that this is equal to x i and then we say this is equal to this is some y1 function uh, y1 function of x and this is some y2 function of x so 
what is y1x so the y1x is actually equal to y1x is actually equal to x and what is y2x it, it is actually equal to uh, this is actually the power this is actually equal to this value so now we can we can say that we have x values we have y1 function then we have y2 so the next step is that we we, we will plot these two functions for the x values let me put it here because I, I, I have to plot a graph so okay so let's say if x is equal to 0 so this will be equal to because this function is equal to x so it will be equal to this and what will be this this will be equal to uh, 2.718 raised to the power minus x okay so yeah and then we can continue these two okay I'm sorry actually maybe I did some mistake so here we should have the more values like it should be uh, 0 this plus 1 so control C and then control V okay so now we can uh, we can plot we can plot a graph and if we plot this graph for example let me select all these three values insert okay let's use this straight line but I have to make sure series 1 is let's say this is series 1 this is X and this is Y okay fine okay and this is the series 2 uh, this series 2 is already there so we have very big values or very big axes so here they are actually in intersecting so it's better we should reduce these values like here so what is happening here so actually we have two functions so one function is decreasing and other other one is increasing and at the point where they converge or they meet actually that point is the root of these uh, of this function and at this point if, if you see here or, or if I just uh, let's say let me delete one more and let's zoom the axis for example let's say the maximum value is 1 and the major unit itself is 0 0.05 okay 0 0.05 and the y axis okay so here we can see that at this point they are actually intersecting so from here we can just see what is the root and that would be the uh, so let me maximize this more for example this axis if I go and maximize say 0 0.8 so I think this uh, why this we are getting a trend which is a root some somewhat away from 0 0.6 is because of uh, because of the chart type and if I change this chart type to from from here to like this curve so maybe yeah now you can see this it is pretty close to 0 0.56 something or again if you uh, adjust these significant figures so you can find that this function is actually crossing at 0 0.56 somewhere and that would be the root so th this technique is the graphical technique you plot the graph between function x uh, y1x and y2x and where they actually meet with each other that point is 
uh, corresponding to the root of the equation so this is the way how you solve uh, your problems using convergence technique so after convergence we have divergence uh, actually for example if we see this point so beyond this point now the function they start uh, moving away from each other so this phenomena is known as divergence okay so this is the same problem that uh, that is here in your book so we actually converted uh, these two into the two functions and here intervals plays a very important role for example in your book it is um, interval of 0 0.2 is chosen and that's one of the reason why our solution was not very accurate because I have used interval of 1 so if you say this interval is let's say 0 0.1 so again control C control V sorry so here if this interval is once uh, 0 0.1 so uh, I should make a function for this plus 0 0.1 so control C okay so we will see what happens because we have discussed in detail in our lectures that how the interval actually plays a role in finding out the accurate values smaller the interval accurate are the values and if you increase the interval your values will be less accurate so the same thing you can see from here and uh, the problem is solved exactly exactly in the same way and this is the point at where they intersect each other and that point is actually the root of the equation now the next technique is the uh, Newton-Raphson method. Uh, 